Hey, hello everyone! Welcome back to Professor Lauren's Pokemon! I am, of course, Professor Lauren. Sword and Shield Let's Play! Episode 4! We just got under Route 3, we started the Gym Challenge, so we're gonna be catching all the Pokemon. Probably won't be able to edit this quite as much, because I am in a bit of a rush to get this episode done. Heal Ball! A remedial Pokemon Pokeball that restores the HP of a Pokemon caught with it and eliminates any status conditions. Great! So if it's a little less edited, excuse me, but we're basically gonna do a speed run. I don't have the Growlithe. Let's catch this thing. Go, Bait Ape! Of course, we um, probably shouldn't face off a fire Pokemon with a, an asleep grass Pokemon. Let's put out the bear. As a reminder, in this series, you get to remove one of my Pokemon from my team. I had zero comments on my last video, so I am not going to remove anyone on my team from this episode. But if you would like to remove one of my team at the end of this episode, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know who you want kicked off my team, and I will go ahead and kick them off. And then I will never put that species of Pokemon back onto my team. Okay, let's do another Brutal Swing. Time to get in the ball, Growlithe. One, two, three, catch! Great. Okay, we have gotten our Growlithe. Beautiful. Growlithe, extremely loyal. It will fearlessly bark at an opponent to protect its trainer from harm. We're just going to be basic, call him Fido. Send to a box. I wonder what the actual speedrun record is for Sword and Shield. Like, is, if there is there a record? I'm sure there is, but we at least got to get through uh, this route in here. Foreign languages and Pokemon. Interesting subjects to study. Alright, Skullgirl Hannah. Time to go down. I should probably use an awakening potion on my Grookey. Avoided. Great. Brutal swing. That didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Okay, potion of awakening on Grookey. A fresh water to heal him. Alright, let's go bait ape. Switch out. Damn! Okay, you just straight up asshole. Beat up. User gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. Let's try that. This sucks! All his moves suck! I'm getting rocked by a little girl! Razor Leaf time. That's what I'm talking about. The circle throw move is kind of pissing me off. Hopefully we can make it flinch. Wouldn't that be great? Another circle throw, are you kidding me? Fuck off. Finally. <laughs> Defeated! That may have been my hardest match yet. But since we're all so beaten up, I'm just gonna go straight back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Ding, ding, dingy, ding! Trainer tips! You can set up camp on routes, and your Pokemon can earn XP points from camping. Try visiting other people's camps too, when you find tents along your way. Burn heal. Lots of zigzagoons, and... Let's fight this kid. It's a small child that I can beat in a Pokemon battle along the way. Okay, school by Marvin. It's time to get wrecked. He has a Badoo. Okay, Razor Leaf didn't do much. Of course, it's on Grass-type. Let's switch to the Bear. 
and try that. Brutal swing and beat its face in. That's much more effective. One more time should do the trick. Smash its face in. Great. Bear leveled up and the ape leveled up. Wait, so the fade ape just got to level 16. Does that mean it's going to evolve finally? Or do they evolve at a higher level? I think I thought it used to be 16 in the old games. You did! Great! I've defeated a small child and leveled up my electric dog. Your Pokemon are way too strong? Not really, I just had more of them. <gasps> and Bait Ape is leveling up. He evolved into Thwacky. He's not as cute anymore. Still not bad looking, but not as cute. When it's drumming, out rapid beats in battle. It gets so caught up in the rhythm that it won't even notice that it's already knocked out its opponent. So he just keeps... So he knocks out his opponent and just keeps beating on him with his two sticks? How brutal. How incredibly brutal. Yes, double hit sounds like a good move. Let's learn that. We don't have a Stunky. Let's get one of these guys. We'll try out our new Thwacky's double hit move and see how that does. Critical hit. Hey, that's pretty good. Maybe we can just get lucky and get get it with the Pokeball right right now. Yes! Alright. Good stuff. Stunky's data will be added. If it lifts its tail and points its rear towards at you, beware. It's about to spray you with the fluid stinky enough to make you faint. We'll call him Pepe. As in Pepe Le Pew. Sent to the box. Oh, hey, Sonia. My favorite girl in the world. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Oh, but where's Hop? He went a different way. I don't want to talk about Hop. Well, you're rivals, after all. I guess it makes sense you train on your own. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something about it been interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Just pass route right through there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Galar region with its energy too. Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chin wag with me. Like, what's chin wag? It's an escape rope. Put escape rope in key items pocket. Long durable rope. Use it to escape instantly from locations like caves or dungeons. Can be used any number of times. I'll heal up your Pokemon too. The way to turf feels pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own, right? Good luck, Gym Challenger. Thank you, Sonia. I love you. Shiny item. Are those boulders rolling? Actually, I think we missed an item back here. One sec. How do we get up there? Rolling boulder time. Roly coly. Okay. I definitely want to capture this one. Of course, this evolves into Colossal, which is one of my favorites. Oh, super effective. Gotta be a little more careful. <laughs> Band of Keith, level up. Let's not use that move. Maybe Branch Pope would be not enough to kill him? 
That was definitely enough to kill him. One rock, two rocks. All right, might as well do some XP farming while we're here. Okay, I think this is the perfect amount of health to catch it in. We'll just use the basic bitch Pokeball. And hope that's good enough. Oh, yeah. Babs leveled up. Joker leveled up. Roly Coley, it can race around like a unicycle, even on rough, rocky terrain. Burning coal sustains it. Would you like to give him a nickname? Seeing as it is a female Roly Cola, I'm sure that Greta T would really appreciate this Pokemon. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And we will add her to our party. I don't want to be sexist, so we got to have a female on the party. And it will replace... It will replace the squirrel Pokemon because I do not care about this Pokemon. I would sure hate for someone to go leave a comment on the video and kick Roly Coley off, seeing as it does evolve into Colossal, who's one of my favorites. And we have a trainer to battle. Were you thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? Ah! Squirrel Girl Kaylee. A purloin. Easy. Use Razor Leaf. Ha <laughs> ha! KO! Your Pokemon sucks! It sucks! Fade Ape level up. The dumb squirrel. Is that the same squirrel I just got rid of? And you're using it to fight me? Ha! <laughs> At least it didn't get KO'd. Use Razor Leaf, Bait Ape, and finish it off. Dead. Give me $936. There must be the item down here. TM37, beat up. Let's get some berries. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your berries. Oh, look! Another Squovit! I love how you still get berries. You, like, just one of the types of berries gets stolen when that happens, but you still get some. One rock. Pika Dog leveled up. Two rock. Ooh, he survived that one. Three rocks. Greta Thunberg leveled up. Bandit Keith leveled up. Was that five rocks now? Six rocks. Bait Ape leveled up. And the bear leveled up. Okay, we've killed a bunch of rocks. Now let's face off against this postal worker. Carrying around, uh, appears to be a great ball. Waiting for something to happen. Is this what my tax dollars is going to? The post worker just walking around doing nothing? I ain't paying taxes for this. Postman Tad. A deli bird. Alright, well, let's raise relief it. It's a good amount of damage. Just one or two more of those and we should, should take care of him. Th thank you. Thank you? <laughs> you just restored my HP. Is there a reason for that move to exist? Is there any downside to it? Let's finish it off. Gain XP. Babs leveled up. Greta Thunberg leveled up. Low grew to level 14. And Postman Tan was defeated. Now go back to working and deliver the mail. That's why the mail takes so long to deliver. Because they're out there trying to battle people. Oh, hello. You want to go in the tent with me? If you want to heal up your Pokemon, nothing like setting up camp and cooking them a good meal. Add this berry to the pot. Cherry berry. If you ever come across a tent, check it out to join the camp to whoever wants to join. You found Becca's camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Yes. Chat with trainer. Good afternoon. To put simply, Bonbon bon is... It takes plenty of siestas. Which, what's Bonbon? Bon? 
She has Pixie, the Vulpix. I don't want to talk with you. This is the Bonbon bon that takes a lot of naps. Hey, Wulu, stop chasing after Thwacky. Hey there. Oddball seems worried about its surroundings. Aw, oh, Thwacky, thank you for... Thank you for taking the ball. Go fetch. Fetch it, buddy. They gained a tiny amount of XP from camping. Alright, another trainer battle. Every Pokemon's got a type or two. Every type has strong ones and weak ones. Except yours are all weak, schoolboy Peter. Oh, yikes. Okay, no, that's... That's gonna be kind of bad against me. I'm wrapped up in some hentai vines. His Sizzlepeed is dead. He's about to send out Dotler. Dotler being this uh, scientifically proven to be a horribly designed Pokemon. No offense to anybody that for some reason likes Dotler. Banakeith, level up. Give me your money, kid. Found a super potion. All right, I think I beat up enough rocks for the moment, so... Shiny, shiny, shiny. Two def X defenses. Sharply boost defense stat. And who do we have here? Hiya! Me and my little sister set up ourselves a pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked anyone if we could or should. Gallarmine is pretty rough on a team, isn't it? I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, friend. Come talk to me anytime you think your team needs a bit of care. Why, thank you. That's very kind of you. Not that I needed it, but thank you. Okay, so the Galar Gem Mine. We got the rock already. What is this? What was that? Oh, that looked like a um, that looked like this thing's evolution. Let's get this thing first. This um, the Rock and Rolla. Yeah. Let's catch one of these things. If I can. Cannot kill it right away before catching it. Oh, that's a little too, too little. Harden. All right, it used Harden, so I can use a Grass move. It is a Rock type, isn't it? Oh yeah, easy. What? Uh, must be uh, like a branch or a, a vine move. Ooh, perfect amount. Let's catch you with the Pokeball. I forgot I had. I forgot I had Quick Balls too, so I should always just Quick Ball like right at the start of the battle to try to catch it. I forgot I bought those. Rog and Rolla. When it detects a noise, it starts to move. The energy core inside it makes this Pokemon slightly warm to the touch. It's slightly warm to touch inside of it. But y'all know you're all thinking the same thing. And it's a female. It's a female Rock and Rolla that's warm to the touch inside. I, I don't know. We'll call it Kitty. Which is, of course... A nickname for something else. And we got a hard stone. What's a hard stone do? You know what we never did is give the grass seed that Leon gave us to our Pokemon. Item to be held by a Pokemon. Durable stone that boosts power of rock type moves. Oh, and here we go. Miracle seed. Speed imbued with life force that boosts grass type moves. So, of course, we should give that to Bait Ape. And we'll give this to Greta, because I believe that's a rock type. Is that a Wulu? Is that its normal color? I thought they were purple. Maybe not. Go Quick Ball.
Oof. Oof. Okay. Wants to move. Rock polish. Yes, I'll, I'll make it learn rock polish so it can polish its rock. User polishes its body to reduce drag, sharply raises speed stat. Woobat's data will be added. It emits ultrasonic waves as it flutters about searching for its prey. Bug Pokemon. It is female. So, its name will be Batwoman. Have you seen the show Batwoman? Is it even still running? Okay. We missed that train thing that came by here. Revive. It's like we'll have to fight him. Should be a piece of cake. My work partner and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. Worker key. Okay, I don't think it's any match for Razor Leaf. None at all. Have you heard of Grass type Keith? He just had the one. He, you could have had like four times of a better team just by catching the Pokemon at the entrance over there. But you do your thing. What's back? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's overlooking the entrance. TM45 Rock Blast. Three great balls. Oh! Oh, okay. What just happened? Wild Carcoal. Oh, should we risk it? We'll do a quick ball. I doubt this is going to work, but we'll do a quick ball. It would be kind of cool to just already catch the evolved form of Roly Coley. No way! <laughs> quick ball for the win! Babs leveled up. Pika Dog leveled up. Banda Keith leveled up. Dumb Bear levels up. Carcoal's data will be added to the Pokedex. By rapidly rolling its legs, it and travel at over 18 miles an hour. Temperatures of the flame it breathes exceeds 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. In other words, it can cook a man in no time flat. Now, this one is a male, so we're going to call him Union. You know what they need is a V-Union Colossal card. And since he's in the mine, he's like a Union worker. And we'll replace Greta Thunberg. No women on my team. Place the item in the bag, and the woman gets kicked off. That way, I don't have her distracting my male Pokemon. I'm going to get in trouble for saying that. Probably not, because no one's going to watch it. We'll give the Rockstone Hardstone to Union. Now we have a nice Fire and Rock type on our team that I hope no one goes in comments to kick off. In order to do good work, you can't slack off when training. Worker Georgia. Alright, we have a timber to beat. Let's just give it a good old razor leaf and see what that does. Avoided. Hey, at least she has three Pokemon on her team instead of one. Ooh, okay, great. About to send out timber. Will you switch? No. So she just has uh, maybe two, maybe three of the same Pokemon here? Three timbers. I guess see she likes those big veiny muscles on that thing's head. That must be why she keeps so many of them around or something. You know, I'm just curious. What happens if you try to throw a no? I was say is can I throw a Pokeball at the enemy? But I cannot. That'd be interesting. You know, like in the old games you can just throw the Pokeball at the enemy and they'll be like, you can't steal another trainer's Pokemon. Bait Ape levels up to 20. You made for some good training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure about that? TM26, Scary Face. User frightens the target with a scary face to harshly lower speed. A couple 
some more of the rog and rollas. And another trainer. Worker Sandra. Diggy diggy dig. Have you heard of Razor Leaf? You can't hear anything now. So I'm about to send out Drillber. Right, I don't need a switch. Okay, well, you're about to get Drill dead. Yep, not even a challenge. Your Pokemon, I want to scout them. No. Okay, it looks like we have a... Uh... Ooh, ooh. Come back. Come back. I gotta catch one of you. I'm not gonna train you, but I do need to catch one of you. Go quick ball. All right. Babs level up. Babs wants to learn double kick. That sounds like a sheep type of move. We'll replace growl. Got to keep defense curl for, for something. It's a digger. Using its claws to burrow through the ground. It causes damage to vegetable crops. So many farmers have little love for it. Yeah, we'll call it mecha drill. There we go. Off to the box with ya. Come on, shave your stubble, worker Russell. So unprofessional of you. Easy. Take a dog, level up. Not even... Not even a second Pokemon. I mean, this isn't even the first route, and you guys are easy. Heavy duty boots. Prevents effects of traps set on the battlefield. Ooh, what? What is he doing here? Two super potions. And then it looks like we have uh, this jerk to deal with. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with the wishing stars in for a beating for me and my Pokemon. Okay. We just can't sneak around him. You. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. Okay, you're in for a beating yourself. I suppose I should prove to you beyond a doubt how just pathetic you are. Okay, trainer BD. Send out Solosis. I'll kill you without a thought. Like, I'll breathe on you. You're level 13. Good old Razor Leaf should KO you. Easy. I'm just giving your Pokemon a chance, is all. Sure. That's what you're doing. About to send out Gothita? No. I won't switch. I think you use Psybeam. Actually did quite a considerable amount of damage. And you're dead. Ooh, Keith and Bear leveled up. Bead's about to send out Hatena. No, I will not switch. We'll just get finish him off nice and what easy right here, right now. Avoided the attack. Ugh. No. No, not confusion. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. Okay. Whew. KO! Easy. 
You defo defeated Pokemon Trainer Bead. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying that hard anyways. So, shut up. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you are more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Okay. Sure. But what a pompous ass. You forgot some stardust! Hello. Me and my sister have set up Pokemon Service Center. I'll heal your team for you. Once you're through the mine, you're on Route 4 and almost at Turfield. Good luck. Ooh, okay. Route 4, here we go. Hello, strange lady. I would, I would but... Uh, yeah, let's stop at her camp, you know? What does she have? A bronzer? A small child? Pika! Pikachu! It's a Pikachu! It's a cum thing! Cooking? Cooking at camp. Cook up a fine curry without camping by selecting ingredients of berries to your liking. Your curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things with rare ingredients or add a lot of berries. Let's try to cook! <laughs> oh goodness! Choose ingredients. Alright, I don't know. We'll just do one of those. Looks like we might get to choose eight. We'll do all that. Would you like to start cooking with your berry selection? Yes. So we're going to do this all individually, what? Fan the flames. Give it a good stir. Gotta like... Put your heart into it. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> it's a big stew pot. Who's carrying around a stew pot that large? Oh, we have pasta. A nice pasta curry. Let's see. Let's see. Ugh. Golden. Bronze! Something shiny. Energy powder. 60 HP to a single Pokemon. Shake their tree and their habitat. See if we can knock them the nest out. I don't stop shaking before like 10 things fall out of the tree. Squirrel is down. Union leveled up. Our union worker is getting stronger. Okay, we have a uh, farm boy here. Looks like he's got a heal, heal ball. Yep. The breeder Jamie. Or Jaime. With the Meowth. A Meowth with the beard. Of course, I've seen the glaring Meowth before. And from the card game, so I know what it looks like. Weird looking Pokemon. Absolutely weird looking Pokemon. How dare you growl at me. Ooh, that really made my attack fall. Oh, a potion. Come on. Let's see if Union can do anything with flame shards against the Butterfree. All right. Flame charge. Instant KO! That's what I'm talking about. Isn't the first gym leader, like, the grass-type gym leader? I'm going to crush him. Babs grew to level 17. C-Dot, also a grass-type. Cute little C-Dot. Not cute anymore. Defeated! Yes, that's the key word. They were in top condition. Oh, it gotta catch this Eevee, of course. Eevee! 
Aw, oh, it's a dumb Eevee. It doesn't know how to speak properly. Quick fall. No! Oh, you did it now. You did it now. Let's give it the good old double hit. And then the regular po the regular Pokeball. What? We'll, we'll try another Pokeball. Oh, come on! Just because it's an Eevee doesn't mean it should be harder to catch. Try again. Throw a Pokeball at it. Throw a Pokeball at it. I will kill this Eevee. Throw a Pokeball at it. What the f <coughs> Throw a Pokeball at it. <laughs> fucking hell. Is it the fucking legendary Eevee? And the quick attack. And it's dead. God damn it. Fuck Eevee, dude. Ooh, ooh. The Nick it's evolving. Into evil. With a little, with a life body and sharp claws, it goes around stealing food and eggs. Boltund is its natural enemy, who I will also have soon have. Boltund apparently takes longer to evolve. Come here, kid. I will destroy you and take out all my aggression at not catching Eevee on you. Pokey Kid Shane. Let's go, I think, uh, just a Razor Leaf should be able to do it. Easy. Yeah, screw your Pikachu, too. See, so, okay. You can get one of these Pumpkaboos. Throw a quick ball at it. And let's hope for the best here. They're like, how easy was that? First try. Union leveled up. Ancient power? Oh, ancient power is pretty good, right? The light that streams from the holes in the pumpkin can hypnotize and control people and Pokemon that sees it. That's kind of scary. Calling it Michael. Paralyze heal. Nest balls. Become more effective the lower level of the wild Pokemon. Rare candy. Of course, we all know what rare candy does. Let's get this Electrite. Easy. Electrics data. It stores electricity in its fur. It gives off sparks from all over its body in seasons when the air is dry. Uh, we'll just go basic, calm Sparky. Oh, no! Oh! He's so close! He's so close! Ah! No! Alright, we'll just kill this one. Quick trainer battle. 50 years of raising Pokemon, and you come to see the progress of my work. 50? Am I reading that right? 50? He isn't 50. Razor Leaf. Dumb bear levels up. Low tad. 
Nah, I will. I will stick with my grass type against this water type. Huh. I didn't raise them for 50 years. I know you didn't, because you look like you're 12. Get out of the way. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take out all our final aggression on Eevee Kid. And that'll be that. Oh, oh, there is a mouth here. We gotta get the meow. Then we'll then we'll be done. Pokey Kid Mia. Oh, oh, Eevee. You are in for it. You are so in for it. That won't work. Using the baby doll eyes on me won't work. Using baby dolls eyes dolls on me works. Okay. You dead anyways. Sorry, Pokey Kid, you make a beautiful Pokemon card. But gotta wreck ya. Alright, we're gonna catch this wild meowth. Throw a quick ball at it. Done. Meow data will be added. These daring Pokemon have coins on their foreheads. Darker coins are harder, and harder coins are garner more respect among Meow. Okay, we are going to do it's a female cherry. Send to the box. Oh, there's an item. We gotta get the item. Oh, there's another item right there. Excuse me. Revival herb. No! Another Wulu. Babs level up, Pika Dog level up, Banna Keith levels up. Lots of levels. A repel. Here are the current members of my team, so you can vote one off by leaving a comment. We have the Thwacky, Wooloo Babs, Carcoal Union, the Boltunt Pika Dog, we just leveled up our Bandit Keith into Feeble, and of course, the Stuffle Dumb Bear. So please leave a comment, vote someone off my team, let me know what you're thinking of the series. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you enjoyed the video. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.